Hi, my name is Donald Lucic. I am a CGSP Level 3. I'm here to do the MPI method with the black on white. And I'm going to demonstrate for you guys. We have a weld coupon here that's half inch thick. It's got a multi-pass weld. And we did a visual exam on it. You can see some tiny imperfections in here, a little bit here and there. Obviously, we're going to note those first by doing our visual. And it even helps to make sure you got things like adequate lighting in the area. If you don't have a flashlight, make sure you got your 100 uh, foot candles minimum. Um, also, make sure you're using the pre-cleaning solution to give it a little spray before you get going. And it always helps to make sure that there's no grease or any debris that may be trapped in there that can interfere with our results. Okay, use a rag that's lint free. Okay, we use the same family of uh, MPI products. Here we have the Magnaflex. We got the 7HF and the contrast paint. Okay. I'm gonna go through and shake the can, make sure it's all mixed up thoroughly. I'm gonna go through and apply a nice even coat across the surface. I start on the edge to make sure I got a uniform amount coming out. I don't want it to be spitting across the surface. Sometimes it does and you gotta unclog this. Give it one shot like that. And then one from the other side. And make sure you always get the ends of these coupons. There seems to be some defects that always appear in the end. I like to make sure that I do the heat affected zone at least the same width as the weld itself. So if it's about three quarters of an inch, I'll make sure I do that thumb width across on this side as well. Okay. You can see the paint dries very quickly. So you can see it's starting to dry as we speak. And usually you'll just start by checking from the outside in and you can see that it's already dry. I do see a little bit of wet on the other side still in the toe of the weld. So we'll give it an extra 10 seconds here. Donald here again, we're going through and we're going to use the 7HF prepared bath. So the particles are mixed to concentration and it's done by the factory. You have the batch numbers always on the bottom, which you should be noting on your reports. And at the end of the day, shake it up good, make sure the particles are dispensed thoroughly through the mix. So I always start with staggering my yoke legs apart and I'll go across perpendicular, changing directions, looking for the flaw. Okay, so I start by spraying the surface with a nice uniform coat not too thick because it's very oily and it takes a second for the magnetic field to dispense the defects to where there's flux leakage from the defects. Then I blow. And this really sharpens the results. Just remember, you can't be blowing if the current is not being applied. So I have to make sure that I'm still holding the yoke on there and I'm energizing and then I can stop and check it out and see what I've got. And there we can see we got some longitudinal cracking across the top of the weld. There's a transverse crack right in there. We got all kinds of stuff happening here. We got another crack over here, toe cracking all along there. That transverse one. And on the other side, we got some more toe cracking here. It's intermittent, it's in and out. And we got a little curve shape one here. So you can see we're picking up these defects pretty good. This method is very sensitive. The wet is always more sensitive than the dry. And we continue going across the one direction and noting our results. So we're cracking across. There's some porosity on the surface there and lots of cracking here near the tail end. And toe cracking on the other side as well. I'm going to go across and I zap the other way after I've documented all my results. I don't need to spray too much more. The particles are still wet on the surface and it will dispense and go to the directions that it needs to from the magnetic flux leakage, okay? Blowing always helps in this process. You could always tilt it with gravity and have it drain for you, and that helps too. Okay, so we back both directions now, doing a perpendicular, looking for defects going all directions, which we did note. Put a tape on it, we made sure when we noted it in our results in our report, that we have it marked at the exact locations. It's very important that we do this. If there are any repairs, they need to know where to fix them. So at the end, we can go through for the post cleaning, we demag it, 
energize and lift off. A couple of times, take a gauss gauge, check the field, make sure there's no residual field left in it. And we're ready to hit it with the cleaner or some other kind of cleaner in a well-vented area, of course. Okay, thank you.